What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in yet again. Today is going to be an episode on the Porsche Cayenne Turbo. The last video you guys saw we left off with the 2JZ for the SVT Lightning. Finally took delivery of that and started putting the hard parts on. I am still waiting for some gaskets and stuff to finalize the 100% assembly of the 2JZ. But for today's video, I finally got my parts from Eurowise and I'm going to show you guys what I got. We got the spherical rear control arms for the turbo. So we got the three for each side. Then we're gonna cut them open and see what they look like. I'm gonna cut this open here and see what they sent us. Control arm. And then I'm gonna have to grease these up just so we don't get no squeaky noise. And then you can adjust them to your required height or required length, I'm sorry. Um, so the instructions on how to do this are on Eurowise's website. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the lower rear control arm out and then we're going to lay it on the ground and we're going to measure it to make sure that it's gonna be as close to the stock spec as possible. And then we will set it to that. So, so when we put it back in and get it ready for it to get aligned again, um, it'll be as close as possible and as easy as possible to get it back to zero. So let's get working. That lower bolt sucks. Let's see if we can, we can get her off now. Oh, yeah, it looks like we got movement, baby. Looks like we got movement. That was a pain in the butt to get out, but I just need to leverage a little bit to be able to pull this bolt out. But finally, got that thing loose. So 24 millimeter and a little finagling to be able to get that out. And PB blaster, because that was a pain in the arse. So now we're gonna take, that stays there. bushings I was able to set the length so you just loosen these on each side and then you adjust it accordingly one turn until you get them about equal and then you adjust them to the factory control arm length and you should have it I think we're making some lead way here but uh it comes with some inserts for each side of the spherical bearing and i put some uh i'll show you the grease here that i got just something from autozone red and tacky spray grease and you want to make sure you grease this and lubricate it because you don't want it to be squeaky once you finish the install so i made sure i mean it's it's definitely messy but i made sure i lubricated it pretty good i'm not gonna finalize the install just yet i'm gonna get everything and mock it in there and make sure it fits fine um but that's pretty much how it's supposed to go again first time doing it so we're going to learn as we go but uh yes it is messy the one control arm comes with two different fittings for the one side so you can see that one's a little bit more rounded than the other the other side has the same fittings and they're uh, male to female so this one you kind of got to figure out but based on the way this is seated here you can see that's gonna go right in here. It fits just like it's meant to be there. So you just gotta make sure that you pay attention to that. And then we'll do it up and we'll get it in there. Lower rear arm is set in place. I think this is gonna be the way that it sits. Like I said, you have two different um, inserts here. So you just gotta make sure you have the right one on each side and it fits the way it should. So um, I used the factory bolts, I didn't get anything else. 
It's all greased up. We'll work on the rest. We're out with the old arm. I mean, look at that. That was bad. Oh yeah, it's seen better days. So I'm glad we uh, went ahead and changed that before we installed the <laughs> before we installed the uh, new rear bags in this thing. Wow. Let's go ahead and open the second arm. So that, like I said, they all come in they come in different sizes. So you, you, when you put it next to the factory arm, you're gonna know um, where each arm is supposed to sit. Um, it makes it easy, and then you just measure it out with the factory arm and. Euro wise definitely makes it nice that way. There we go. And zip tied. This one, I think. Yeah, it looks like it's the same way. It's got a uh, Fitting, two different fittings on the one side, and the other side looks like it's the same. Perfect. This uh, bolt up here and nut was a 21 mil. Now we're just gonna have to take off this line. Looks like it's a rubber grommet. And then the level sensor for the air suspension. You have to remove that. And then Eurowise includes a clamp to secure that to the new arm. The inner bolt towards the frame is an 18 millimeter. It's the rear upper front control arm. To remove the level sensor, it's a 12 millimeter on this nut, and then it's a 10 mil on the other side. You remove it, just make sure you secure it there so you know that that nut goes back to this level sensor, and let's continue removing the arm. So this arm definitely makes sense now because the other arm that I had in my hand for the rear, rear upper arm had the different joints or the different um, inserts on one side and other inserts on the other. This one actually has all the male to female inserts on both sides. So it makes sense because when you insert the arm um, on the rear front upper, all of it's flat and there's no like circular joint or insert or anything like that. So this makes more sense. So we're going to mock this up and I'm gonna get it to the point where it's even. And then I'm gonna also put the clamp on where the level sensor was approximately on the stock arm and we're going to get it on here as well another thing for the small arm which is the rear front upper is that these bushings are two different sizes which the bolts are also two different sizes so you'll know which one goes on which side um, i realize i'm like why is this not fitting i swapped them and they fit and then i lined this up as close to the oem spot as possible it's probably gonna need some adjusting once I install it on the Cayenne, and then we'll figure that out from there. So now I'm just gonna go and try to remove this one. Since that one is out, I can access this bolt a little bit easier and see how much trouble this one gives me. After much struggle, we finally got this arm out. Um, it just needs some wiggling, as you can tell, a corrosion and years of buildup just made it that much harder to take out but a little back and forth making sure you don't strip anything um, goes a long way and a lot of blaster so let's get this one measured up and uh, mocked in there with the level sensor they include this I don't know if it's a mock setup or not but when you lift yours 
it's pretty much the same thing. So what I'm gonna do is, instead of taking, or I don't even know how to take the one that I have right here in my hand off, um, cause I was just trying to see how I do that. I'm just gonna remove this one and then just put this through the clamp and that'll solve that issue. Cause I'm, I was wondering, I'm like, how do I take this out of the ball? It doesn't seem like it, it just pivots in there. So I was kind of curious on that. If anybody has any input on that, let me know. But for now, I'm gonna take this one off and then just slide the one that I had on the Kai in through. The level sensor is secured. So I took off that piece that Eurowise sent and I just put the one that was attached to this one. This was part of their lift kit as well. So this is also their piece. And I just secured it to the clamp that was included with the control arms. Everything is lubed up and it is only hand tight right now so i will take care of that at some point and then I just picture the new strut right here and then i'm just going to repeat it for the other side as well and we got the new sway bar and links from last time and that's it we're looking good eventually i'll replace this as well um i didn't do it this time around because i wasn't sure and again like the last one now i'm inspecting it and you can see that definitely will need to be replaced at some point as well. Well, there you have it. Driver's side rear Eurowise spherical control arms are now installed. They are not 100% yet. I still need to figure out what I'm gonna do for torque specs because it's not on the ground. So I need to actually make sure that the vehicle is at ride height before I torque everything down. So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I think I'm gonna hand tighten them. I may trailer it over to my buddy's alignment shop and then we're gonna to torque everything to spec on the alignment rack, but I'm not 100% yet. After some research, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do, but everything looks good. The quality of the Eurowise control arms is, I mean, it looks top notch. And the reviews that I've read, they improve ride quality over OEM. And being that the OEM ones, um, the OEM bushings were torn up on mine, I think we're gonna see a increase in the ride quality, especially with the air suspension. I'll eventually put the air strap back in there, get everything situated and lower on the ground. And then on top of that, I'm gonna have to fill the system with nitrogen again because of the leak that I had in the rear driver's side. I probably lost all the nitrogen that was in the tank. And with Porsche, you have to have the nitrogen in there. I mean, it will pull air from the atmosphere, but you don't want that in there. You want it to be that semi or almost closed loop system with the nitrogen in there, nitrogen in there as for OEM specs. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Hopefully I was able to educate you a little bit, especially for my first time um, with the Eurowise spherical control arm install. And that was the driver's side rear. So pretty much you're just gonna mirror everything from the driver's side on the passenger side. And I'm not gonna bore you guys with another install video for the passenger side. So thank you so much for tuning in. Please give it a thumbs up. If you like the content, the 958 Turbo and the last video you saw, the 2JZ Lightning, Please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.